Yo, what's up guys, your boy Axel here, welcome back to Solo Leveling Arise. So, um, if you're watching this video, it might be a bit outdated, but I'm probably going to post this soon. Um, again, you know, it's not going to be in any order. However, before I start, um, if you haven't been doing this already, be sure to talk to your character, talk to the characters that have the, uh, the exclamation point speech bubble. <laughs> but you can just skip it if you want, right, because there's not really any voice lines. The end result is that you get five essence. And after from doing both of them, normally you can get more, right? You can just come back from now from now and then, you know, and just get some five essences here and here and there. But in any case, this video is about essences. And perhaps the only way that I would suggest using them, especially if you're free to play, is by using them on draws. Specifically, Choi Jong In banner, not the selection draw. Well, okay, sorry, not Choi Jong In banner, but the character banners or the event banners. So currently, our rate up is Choi Jong In. Now, if you rerolled for him and you're free to play, let's say you got him, my suggestion is to stop. How it's unfortunate that he does you know he does benefit from dupes like for example just the first dupe triples the damage of this skill for six seconds i mean i mean well not for six seconds but like during the duration of the ult right so 15 uh seconds yeah so during these 15 seconds the, the damage of this skill is increased three times. So like you do triple damage and this skill changes into a different skill. It's called Mega Crater. So, you know, that's like a complete change to his gameplay. But yeah, if you're free to play and you have him, um, I would stop there. Main reason being is I would suggest saving up essence this is it's not a long video it's just a short video um just notifying how to you like you know just my suggestion on how for you to use these essences mainly because the game is still new the first character normally that is featured in every game in every gacha if you if you play a lot of them they are good but they're not normally meta defining i know I personally don't really use the word meta, but it's a bit of a relative related topic in this case because, you know, there's a lot of people here that do prefer to pull for good characters, right? And one of his biggest weaknesses, Choi Jung-in specifically, is that in his passive, it mentions that he cannot deal critical hits, but his attack is increased by 40%. So yeah, um, we don't know who's coming next, but what I can say for sure is that you technically don't need him for example um his support skill um does a bit of burn and has defense reduction for 15 seconds there's already better characters that can utilize that right um if you like if you just if you just look um if you're just looking for defense debuff we already have a few few people here so first of all we have a healer who does the same job obviously he um you, you'll do less damage right it's not really defense debuff, but it's increased damage taken by 15%. And then if you combine that with uh, Baek Yeonhu, Yunho, 20% defense reduction. Now, of course, it's only 10 seconds, but it's got a larger defense debuff. And lastly, we have um, our boy Song Jin Mu. If you dodge and then use that skill, the QTE, that is a 60% defense debuff. So again, you know, not necessarily needed if you're only looking for defense debuff. Now, as a DPS, currently he's good, right? Admittedly, he's good. Um, I'm just worried about what's going to happen later in the game, especially if you have zero dupes because he cannot crit. And later on, you will have better artifacts to give to your characters, meaning you're going to be able to give them more crit rate. But for him, 
Of course, you know, since you don't need crit rate, you can focus on more attack stats and so on and so forth. So it kind of balances out in that sense. But not being able to crit is still pretty... It's a, it's a pretty big nerf to the damage, in my opinion. So yeah, if you have one copy and you're free to play, skip, um, skip and just save. And that's pretty much about it. Um, that's the only advice really I can give for this video. I'm not going to make it eight minutes for like those extra ad things. But yeah, that's the TLDR. Sorry if I rambled on. I just wanted to emphasize that you should be saving your essences, especially if you're free to play and trying to save for future banners. You know, there are there are plenty of characters in the in the world of solo leveling that hasn't been released yet into the uh into the gacha, right? So better know your characters and then decide who you want to pull based on who your favorite is because in terms of Song Jin Wu, which is everyone's favorite basically, we already have him and in order to baby him up, you know what I mean, is basically just pulling for the weapons and trying to get, you know, the good ones. I still haven't gone the sword so yeah. But yeah, that's in any case that's about it. Um hopefully this video was, you know, either helpful or at least reinforces your mindset about saving for the next banner and so on. And yeah, it's been your boy Nitro Storm. I'll see you guys in the next stream or video. Peace.